You are late, Tilly. Ardan! Cake guy! Glad to see you are still alive, Miss Ida. Ardan, we don't have a lot of time. We need to leave Northcliffe as soon as possible. I know. Diego left for the abandoned castle by the Crimson River, and he took the journals with him. The thing you told me about earlier, are you sure? Yes, unfortunately, he is a secretive man, but Tilly, you are right. This is definitely about necromancy, and somehow the Silver Order is in the middle of all of this. Whatever he found, it's way too important. He believes he can threaten the Silver Order. Normally, I would think he was going to get himself killed. But with the documents he stole, the Silver Order now cannot deny their relationship with the Eagles. If the people of Northcliffe learn about this, they will demand the Silver Order shut down and every member killed. This city lost a lot of good men to the Eagles. Anyone who is a friend of the Eagles is an enemy to the people. Even if the King uses the Silver Order constantly, he will have to shut it down, or we will see the most violent war Arian <coughs> Fucking names. Okay. Ar Arunia has ever seen since the massacre of the Lith. What does Diego want? Why is he going to the abandoned castle? I don't know. He says it's about a key, but whatever that is, it's more valuable than his life. He took a great risk stabbing the Silver Order in the back. It might be the key to the old kingdom. Ida, we need that key. All right. Plans? Anyone? Except Jace? Drop it already! At this point, smart plans or tricks won't help any of us. I think we need Jace for this mission. Oh, come on, you two? Deo's tough, but he will only have a handful of thugs with him. I think if we work together, we can take him out. Forget it, he's mine. Oh, Xander. Xander looks pissed. Look, look at Jace's face. He's all like, eh. Xander's all like, ugh, pretty elf. Okay. Hey, what was that for, man? You almost set me on fire. That was a warning. If you ever stab Ida in the back again, I will not kill you. Wait. I will not kill you. I will burn you alive, painfully, so slowly that you will end up begging me to end your miserable life. Oh, he is pissed. And every time you feel like it's the end, I will heal you. I promise the pain will never end. Holy shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Ida wants to date him anymore. He has a little bit of... um. Sick, sadistic, sexual fucking desire there. Okay. That is a bit extreme. No, it's not. Once I'm done with you, you will learn the true meaning of extreme. Okay, then. Let's rest for a while. I'll be here if you need me. And I will take my leave now. If I stay out too long, the rest of the gang might get suspicious. Good luck to you, Ida. May your old kings watch over you. Thank you, Cape Man. Elf. Man. Man elf. Uh, why is Guy always fucking crying? I can't believe it. I don't know what to say, Ida. I just wanted to know why my mother died. Now, all of this, it's... I'm sorry for including you in this mess. This Diego guy, Chili says he was really dangerous. Not really, he was just a guy with a lot of information. Hot, though. A dashi... a dashian. Ha ha ha! Only you would meet a famous criminal and call him hot. I said a dashian! You know, normally, I should feel like I should give up on this search. Things are getting really dangerous. But I want to keep moving forward. I feel like after this point, there's no turning back. I want to see this through. I also want to stick a dagger right into Diego's heart. But Ida, did you learn how he managed to find the camp and steal the journals? No, I don't think he knows the journals are yours. Good. Better this way. Okay, so let's talk to Xander. You have a rare talent for finding trouble wherever you go. Are you scared, Xander? I am, most of the time. Afraid of not being able to control my magic. Afraid of hurting someone innocent. Afraid of hurting you. Oh, of course. Once he says something really sweet, the music starts turning all, like, really sweet. Okay. Hurting me? You know, I'm not exactly a delicate flower. Back in the hideout, I was really angry at Jace, but mostly at you for forgetting yourself in that mess. Forgetting yourself into that mess. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I took it out on the thugs. Just a second, even for a second there, I thought I wasn't able, going to be able to hold back. I thought, if I can't hold it, Ida, I can hurt a lot of people, including you and myself. That is why I was hesitant at first towards you, what I feel about you. 
Aww, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, and the music's all like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. But when I heard you in trouble, the thought of losing you, I just couldn't deny it anymore. <laughs> the, music so, the music is so fucking perfect. If you want me to leave you alone, I will, but whether you like it or not, I can't change what I feel about you. I'm sorry. Scary. Friends, which way? The way you feel about me. In what way is that, Xander? I die you little oh, something. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Usually I don't really go for the whole cheesy romantic thing, but that is fucking adorable. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm just fangirling a little bit. You mean so funny. Okay. This way. He looks so fucking proud of himself. She's, in, uh, she's like, <gasps> does did it does it what the, this does not wave at the what? Sorry, I forgot to mention when you are having an intimate moment with a mage, for example, like kissing, for a brief moment you feel the same way as they do. I told you how we had a ten times stronger stronger emotions, right? Did you you did this on purpose, didn't you? You forgot to mention this on purpose. I can't believe you. I'm sorry, I just had to see a reaction. You evil mage! Aww, it's so cute. Okay, why can't I talk to Tilly? Okay. Hey. Look, before you say anything, I know, okay, I'm sorry, I backstabbed you, I ruined the plan, but I didn't know you, I mean, you are a noble after all, I thought, never mind. I just wanted to say I'm sorry, Ida. Sure, no big deal, it's just our lives that we were about to lose anyway. You don't understand, do you? He was my brother. <sighs> Not okay. I understand why you want revenge, but that doesn't mean you get to put me and the whole others in danger. It was reckless and stupid. Why did you really come back, Jace? You could have went to the Silver Order with those documents. I'm sure they wouldn't like the fact that Diego tried to stab him in the back. They would have killed him without any trouble. I... I didn't want to kill Diego. <sighs> I'm fucking up the voices. I didn't want to kill Diego. I wanted him to look at me and tell me why he did it. I wanted answers, reasons, any reason, actually. I wanted to understand why he did it. We were close, Ida. All of us. The whole order. It was impossible for us to sell one of ours out. I guess... I just... I don't know. Who cares? I care, you idiot. You are a friend, and even if you are a bit of an idiot, you are a good person. Way to say idiot twice in the same fucking thing. Yeah, thanks, gorgeous. But I need some time alone. Let's go to the castle. Yeah, three guards at the front. I'll stay back with Sky and stall them. Go in, take the journals, and the key will come back and come back out. There'll be guards inside, so focus. Sounds easy enough. Ida, whatever happens here, I just wanted to, you to. Okay. <laughs> the whole da in the back remind is, reminds me of Mass Effect with the Reapers. Kind of sounds like that because like a massive, like fucking bass drop. Okay, anyway, Ida, whatever happens here, I just wanted to, you know I never met a noble like you before. You are kind, gentle, and compassionate. You are a good friend, the best kind, and it was an honor meeting you. Oh, Tilly's hi, Don't cry, Tilly. Don't cry. Don't cry, Tilly. Okay. Damn it, Tilly. Don't make me cry. You know how hard it is if I with blurry vision. Ready? Let's get this over with. Eagle thug. Don't let them near the boss! I'm afraid that is not an option. Ida, go. I will take care of them. Oh, this is some epic music. No! You don't have a lot of time. Just go. Xander, I swear, if you die... Oh, another kiss scene. Oh, my screen's all. I'm gonna fix that. There we go. I don't know why it's like that. Okay. I said go. And please, be careful. Attack! Bring it on. Not this time, gorgeous. Go get Ka D Diego. Me and these guys are going to have so much fun together. I thought you wanted to say hello to Diego yourself. Don't worry, I'll catch up. In case I don't, aim the heart. Ida, I see you have successfully escaped my dungeon. I'd help. Tilly, I presume. So, whatever this key is, I'm going to be taking it now, along with my journals. 
<laughs> Your journals. The information in these journals belong to the Eagles, Ida. Do you know the woman who owned them? Maybe. She was an old Eng Eagles member. One day she stole her information about the old kingdom and left the city for good. It was a pain to track her down. We found her, of course, a few years later. It wasn't pretty. You see, Ida, no one steals from us. Sky's mother was an Eagles member? Bullshit! Mother? Ah, I see. Now it makes sense. She probably left the city to protect her family. Stupid woman. I don't know about her personally, but when I joined the Eagles as a young boy, she was already gone. I have heard of her, though. Apparently she was very talented. He spelled apparently wrong. I don't care. I'm just here to take the journals and the key. Give them to me or live, or forcibly take them and you die. <laughs> That's cute. You think you can hurt me? I'm afraid our fight will have to wait. What? What did you do? Me? Nothing. What is this? What's happening? You said you wanted the key. Well, you found it. What? You, Ida. You are the key. You, well, not you personally, of course. Your race. The nobles. Too bad. You will have to die, though. What do you mean, I have to die? The gates to the old kingdom only opens through the certain kind of magic. A kind that was used in the old kingdom. The kind of magic that is forgotten and forbidden. Just like everything about the old kingdom itself. Except the nobles. Except the nobles. The nobles are almost the only proof of the old kingdom ever existed. Your kind. I've been searching for information about it for years. To be honest, I wasn't sure until you came here and the building started reacting to your presence. Just like every piece of artifact left from the old kingdom. Your kind were used as gatekeepers back in the day, Ida. You were items to be used. You only live to open the gates of the Old Kingdom. You are the key. And unfortunately, once the gate is open, there is no need for a key. What? what what's happening? Oh shit, she's glowing. What the hell? You are fulfilling your duty, opening the gates, and dying. You, you knew that I would escape. You knew that I would follow you here. No, not entirely. But I'm enjoying the outcome. I can't... Move. Oh, she's like all white except for, you know, of course, her fucking piercings that sometimes aren't there and then sometimes are there. And it's very weird. And my frame rates are dropping really bad, or that's just the lagginess of the game. I don't know. Xanda, this place is coming down. We have to leave. No, Ida's still there. No. Stop it. We have to get out. She is still in there. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> oh my god, my feels. My feels are everywhere. All these feels. All these... Damn it, Sander. Oh, I'm gonna. My feels are gonna be all broken in a bit. Tilly, where is Ida? Sander? Jace? Someone? Please tell me she wasn't in there. Please. Cold. I never thought it would be cold. I knew, I always knew that one way or another, I would die like this. I thought I was ready. But right now, all I want is one last chance to fight. Oh shit, is this the ending? Ida can't be dead. This is she's like the main fucking character. She can't die. Fallon, there's a girl under the piles. Noble? Do you think it's the first gate's appearance? Probably. Is she alive? I don't know. Ida! See, now she doesn't have piercings. So okay, okay. So that was the end of chapter one. Um, that was very interesting. And very cliffhanger. -y. Oh, they all think she's dead? Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, thank you people for watching me play this game, and 
I'm gonna stop recording these, but Kira, she's gonna be doing it from now on. So, um, if you wanna keep watching chapter two, I won't be playing, well, I will be playing, but I won't be recording it. Kira will be handling that. So, um, again, thank you for watching. Take care now. Bye.